الحمد لله حمد كثير طيب مبارك فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى. I just wanted to tell the brothers that I know for a fact that ignorance is on fire. Ignorance is at an all time high. Story from yesterday. I'm in a particular masjid. Making wudu, minding my business. Another elder brother is making wudu. So he sees me wipe over my cotton sock. And he says to me, after I finish making wudu, Brother, you can't do that. You have to wipe only over leather socks. And I said, Brother, Min aina laka hadha? I said, Brother, where do you get this from? You, ha you have a text? He said to me, ask the mufti. Ask the mufti, he's right there. I said, I don't need to ask the mufti. I said, I know some authentic texts. And I go, my deen is not based upon asking the mufti. My deen, my deen is based upon call Allah wa call Rasulullah. And as for the verse where Allah Ta'ala, he says, uh, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلِ ذِكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. But I know. I know the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, which is on the authority of Maghira ibn Shu'aba. This hadith is in Tirmidhi and it is authentic. وَمَسَّحَ عَلَى جُرَبَيْنِ وَنَعْلَيْنِ The Prophet ﷺ, that he wiped over his socks, not his leather socks. And he wiped over his shoes, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So after the salat, I came to the brother, pulled up the hadith, and I tried to show him. Oh, no, no, brother. No, no, no. I don't know where you're getting this from, brother. Sahih, it's authentic hadith. I just want to show you. Let me read it to you. No, no, no. You have to ask the mufti. You have to ask the mufti. I said, Akhi, my deen is not based upon the mufti. My deen is based upon call Allah. Wa call Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So anyways, the brother is like, no, 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 no. You have to ask the mufti. You have to ask the mufti. I said, why do I got to ask the mufti? I go, I can read Arabic and the hadith is right here. He studied Islam for 18 years. MashaAllah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Haven't stopped studying Islam for the last 30 years. But I said to the brother, I said, I know what it is. I go, I'm not from your people. That's what it is. Because you see me and you're looking at me and I'm dressed maybe in some hip hop paraphernalia. I got that Dawa Dynamics hit in the street. That's how we roll. All of a sudden... I'm not qualified. I don't look like you. I don't talk like you. I don't walk like you. So therefore, we're just people you can put in the N-word with Tawheed. This is the reality of our Ummah. Ignorance at an all-time high. It is so sad that we're living in times like this. Somebody, they come to you and they tell you what you're basically doing is haram. And you have the little to show them that they're wrong. And they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear your delil because you don't speak their lahja. You don't speak their tongue and you don't look like them. So you can't have no knowledge of Islam. You don't know nothing. You're just a new Muslim. There's no possibly way that you could know anything about Islam. You're just a new Muslim. You can't know anything. Anyways, this is the reality of the Ummah. Ignorance at an all time high. You wonder why that the Ummah is almost dead or almost die. Allah must die. Allah